What's going on? It was Greg back with some more Watcher of Realms. This is going to be my Void Rift Normal Phase 1. So this is the first phase, as you can see, in the game on the screen. Uh, I did think I do think I collected one of the things ahead of time. Um, but I do my little collection. Then I hit my first enemy here. It says I need two defenders, two magic dealers. Key thing here is Queen Tarantulas Falling Stones. They prioritize defenders. If you don't put any defenders in, it will hit a large area and probably kill most of your heroes. So you want to bring in um, at least one. Uh, honestly preferably one because then she's just going to target that one i don't know if it changes the count on the stones but i do use two so i mean if you want to do that that's fine so i put my baron um down here at the bottom now the reason why i backed him all the way up is because the area for the stones is the blocks around the tanks so you back them up again you get some extra blocks there on the uh, platform that will guarantee not to get hit and i'll show you what the uh what the area looks like here in a minute so you see I put one DPS down and put my combat down. Now I think I should have did a little bit different here. Uh, can I back this up slightly? Yeah, so I'll show you the area here. This is, um, the red lines are showing you where the rocks are going to hit. So as you can see those front four tiles are safe and then that one in the middle, even vortex is actually safe too. Um, so I actually keep everyone out of the range of the rocks and that's, or no, I think I might play, do I place one in? We'll see. But I'd put one TPS facing up, one DPS facing down. I do think I should have switched Dolores and uh, Comet here, although my Dolores wasn't even needed. But you want to make sure your DPS is covering everything up to in front of your tank. And my Comet does not necessarily cover it in front of a Solde. So a couple times, a Solde has to finish uh, finish the enemies. So you can see here, pretty straightforward I'm not gonna uh, do I add I add oh I just add an extra DPS I don't know why I add the DPS with Vierna um, but I guess because I already put Elowen up top uh, so we just add that in there not really necessary this fight does not contain the boss fight the boss will just walk away here in a second after we kill this last enemy there we go she's gonna walk off and disappear and we're done so now we're just gonna walk around a little bit more. We're gonna collect up our uh, goodies and head to the next uh, fight. This one is very similar fight. I don't know why they necessarily recommend two single da target damage or DPS heroes. I'm fine with just using magic damage dealers. Scythe of Doom cast the falling rocks. So the same thing Araka was doing. Um, so similar situation here your two tanks um you could use a tank and fighter i, I just was going through with two tanks because it really didn't bother me um and uh, but i'll show you here on the map in a second what it's going to look like i really didn't even change my team there so we come in here and um if you place down your two tanks i'm gonna place baron and Asolde again um you see you're covering all but one uh tile on each side top and bottom so that's those single tiles is where I'm going to place uh, Comet and the Yerna. I'm going to put Vortex in the back to heal. He will get hit by rocks, but it's all right. He handles it just fine. So my Comet and the Yerna are overlapping, even though um, the way the mobs come down uh, the lane, they don't they don't ever really actually help each other. Uh, so I, got, uh, I thought about sticking Dolores out, so I don't, uh, I don't really need to do it. And I got my Elowen out as well, just for some extra heals. But again, not really necessary. You can literally do this with five heroes. Uh, if they're strong enough, of course. If you are not as advanced, then you need more heroes out there. So we got some more waves, and this is pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, the, I did double actually double up the speed on these. I went ahead and edited the video, um, and now I'm going back and playing it. But that allowed me to go ahead and speed up the fights and not have to worry about um, you know being quiet during that and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys appreciate not having to sit through too long. They're still fairly decent long videos, but I tried not to go too crazy. Got a rewards there. Nice to get that flawless uh, meteorite. Once you get through everything, you'll be able to, uh, you know, try two summons on the F or mythic uh, artifacts. So I go through here and collect up um, 
basically whatever I can find on the map do a little bit of looking around then I go encounter this battle and now this is a gold battle it's pretty straightforward and I sped through this one I think even more um I think I did I don't know maybe I didn't do this one because it was the first one anyway I like to go in like three fighters just to kind of make sure I don't have too much overlap on mobs and get my AOE out um once you have this set up it's pretty straightforward but I do go ahead and add in everyone else that I can just more DPS just to be sure but I don't let anyone slip through here it's a pretty straightforward battle it's similar very similar to the you know the gold and XP battles um, probably definitely the easiest thing within the void rift now you can't open void rift until level 45 so I feel like that that's decent that's a good timing in terms of what you might have on heroes but it's still a little bit early uh, where I mean there's probably people that can play it that can't clear it yet all right so we finished that battle we're gonna look around a little bit more collect our rewards here and then hit the next battle all right so let's move I like checking all the nooks and crannies make sure I don't miss something here you can't actually wrap around that little island thing uh, we got a calypso fight here but I think there was another one down here. Yeah, so I think we do this other one first. Yep. So this is... uh Oh, we still got Calypso in here, but I don't think she... Does she actually fight? Uh, no, I do think you have to attack. You have to at least attack her to make her move, I think. Um, so let's go ahead. What did I do here? I think I switched the team a little bit. Toriel here. Um, I like Toriel because her ultimate will just hit you know, anything anywhere on the map. You can't specifically target the boss, but as long as you have most of the other units down, you try to time it good. Um, it, it's pretty good about hitting uh, hitting the boss. Now, I think Calypso, yeah, Calypso is hitting the last deployed unit. Um, so keep that in mind. Try to wait on deploying something out. Just like here, I waited to deploy Baron so he could be my last unit out. I used Toriel there to uh, or no or Vierna. DPS are down. So I saved my Toriel ult now. I don't think I have it yet. No. Okay, now I have it, but I'm saving it. And I don't I think I'll wait till I kill some more mobs here. Or do I just let Comet DPS? Oh no, I used her in Comet. Of course, made her run again. But you can see I, I waited on Toriel until most of the mobs were dead. Because I really wanted her to hit the boss there. So we made her run from there. She comes back on the left side. So again, if I had Toria up, I was still, no, I went ahead and activated it, um, but you can see she's not hitting the boss until now, um, but she kind of came into Vierna's range already. All right, so Calypso's gone now. I think that was the last one. So three rounds of Calypso, and then it's just holding off the mobs. It's pretty straightforward there. Placement, pretty obvious. Uh, Dolores works great right there in the middle. Get some attack boost. Um, I like, really like pairing Dolores and Toria because, uh, just power up her ultimate there and now that she's awakening five her ultimate can continue um, if you keep killing units all right recommended heroes here we have uh, Calypso and um, I think you have to fight her here I think you have to fight her here all right so two defenders two single target don't remember exactly why they asked it did I change anything no I actually went in with the same team so let's see oh yeah so on this one, again, Toriel just kind of the MVP here because it doesn't matter. You got to be careful here because you, you place your heroes, but then she pops up somewhere else out of range. Uh, Toriel is great for that just because she can target anywhere on the map. I use my comment here. She's very good DPS, uh, I mean burst DPS. So he can handle these mobs down here. You have a placement. You could place a fighter there or something um, or a, a defender to hold things off. But you also have a flying unit over there, so you do have to be careful. I think that Comet just, just took care of it, so I didn't have to worry about anything. So I left him there to handle those. You can see I put my Torio down to DPS Calypso some. Calypso moves over to that top side. Has that shield. So now I'm waiting on my ult from Torio to come up. I think I go ahead and blast it. There you go. I'm going to blast her shield down. Oh, that's right. I got enough hits in it right there, and she keeps on moving. Uh, so now she gets... 
in range right there. So I'll go ahead and put Nyx down. Um, she will hit Nyx, but I was like, okay, let me at least see if I can get the shield down. I did. Again, you can use a different marksman there, a different DPS. Um, if you have an issue, you might want to have like an extra tank to put down just in case, just to throw down to be that last hitter. But once she came in range of my uh, rest of my DPS, it was a wrap for Calypso there. So now it's just taking out the rest of the mobs. And we're good to go. And we hit 30% right there. Now I'm going to take my reward, look around a little bit more. And see if we find anything. I like to look. I'm looking, seeing what kind of stuff I got. Um, and this is the final boss for phase one. So I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else before I go attack her. And you can see we do have Queen Tarantula again. This time it's more of a top down map. And I pretty much use the same team. So let's go ahead and make sure same thing. Yeah, I don't take anything out. We go for it. I can't. Did I press it? <laughs> All right. So final boss fight of phase, or yeah, I guess final boss of phase one. And she is gonna come down this time. She does take her time though. Uh, get my two tanks down. As you can see, I don't have much. Uh, room for DPS if I want to keep them out of the range of the rocks so I can see here I need to deal with these mobs I decide to go ahead and uh, place Vierna or no Iona right here to deal with these mobs then Comet he's facing up Vierna's facing up and I do have a uh, Baron on the left. He can do a decent chunk of damage. He's going to take those mobs out. But I do get him to put my Toriel down. And so uh, she can help DPS that left side. So now I pretty much have everything covered. So we already have one of the little mini bosses come down the left. We're going to have the uh, mini boss come down on the right. He's going to get nuked. And then that mob down. So now she just she just toys around with you for a little bit. Um, the rocks keep coming, and she finally starts walking, and we just blast her down. Uh, she does come down the left lane there, so keep that in mind. Just make sure you have your probably your best DPS on the left lane, ready to take her out when she comes down. That's it. That's it. That's it for phase one. I do hope you appreciated that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click up our little reward here. And we got some nice little goodies. 15 flawless meteorite. The gold, I mean, nice to get a little chunk of gold, but ultimately you don't get that much gold from this. It's... That being said, honestly, guys, if you are, um, you know, short on gold, you make sure you're not upgrading pieces of gear that you don't need or that are not upgrading good don't max out something to plus 16 you have bad rolls that's kind of what is draining your uh, gold fund um, if you make smart decisions on upgrading and keep on farming uh, gear you'll you'll end up making enough gold from selling the crap gear and it'll kind of keep you going you might still need to run some gear raids but hey it will help anyway hope this helped on phase one of normal void rift guys if you did make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet i don't know why make sure you hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on i'll catch you in the next video